So we're gonna go through the Northeast Grain Shed square feet calculator, uh, show you a little bit of how it works and changing some of the numbers around and what the results are. Right here I have a recipe for a beer put in where we start with the size of the batch, which is in barrels, a barrel being 31 gallons of beer. Then the next number you input is the pounds of grain used. So for this recipe, we're using 2,200 pounds of uh, locally grown grain. And then the percent packaged, what the final yield of the beer is after it's done and put into kegs, cans, bottles, or whatever your packaging might be. This calculator is just based on the square footage required for barley. It doesn't take into consideration if a beer has wheat, rye, oats, spelt, emmer, triticale, or any other uh, individual grain. It's just the main uh, base grain that is used in beer, uh, which is barley malt. So you can see the 30 barrels, 2,200 pounds, 77% packaging yield. Per gallon, you would be using 47.12 square feet of barley field. And where we were talking about the square feet campaign, this beer would actually be 5.89, so about six square feet of barley field per beer. But if we change this and we get more efficient and we're at 85%, then the number goes down to 5.3. So one recipe can have a different impact or uh, use different amounts of local barley field if you increase the output or decrease similarly the input. So the numbers are, are all pretty simple. It gives you 12 ounce cans or bottles, one pint and eight ounce pour. A full case of this beer would be 128 square feet. And if we change this to another recipe that's a much lighter beer where let's say we use 1600 pounds that number for a case drops down to 93. The pint goes to 3.88 square feet. So it's a tool, uh, very simple inputs, batch size, pounds of grain, final yield, and it determines how much square feet of local barley field took to make it. So pretty cool. It's really exciting to be able to try and connect this idea for people and simplify it. Somebody at the end of the supply chain being able to know what impact they're having by choosing that product over one that's not made with local grains.